hello good day welcome to creative events international welcome to my channel i'm making a video on this beautiful cap the fabric i use for this cap is called damax and i already have the base of the cap prepared i already have the stripes that i would be using prepared i have videos on base and on stripes as well I'll drop the link at the description box. So the video is about how this uh, turban is created. You can call it octogele if you like. So the video is how about how this uh, octogele was created. So the base is there and then the stripe is already here. So this first stripe it is ideal for you to use your needle and thread to position the first stripe but i used hot glue so when you are making yours use your needle and thread to position the first stripe after which you can continue with hot glue one very important aspect of the placement of this stripe is your ability to know the midpoint of the gele so that you don't have one part of the stripe being shortened so knowing the midpoint of your gele is very vital so also as you use your odd glue i want to say or emphasize that the glue must be very hot it's not it's not like just being warm no it must be very hot before you start using it so that it would be able to stick the stripe properly to the base of the gele or turban whatever you wish to call it so fixing the stripe is quite easy that's just what you've seen me done and it's as easy as you see it. Don't forget, I said, use needle and thread to secure the first stripe before using the hot glue to fix the remaining ones on top. And by the way, I used six pieces of the stripe. That is, I used six, six stripes, if you like, you can go above that but for a perfect size six is okay you don't need above six mm -hmm. and i don't think less than six is also okay so just make it six all right so i will drop that link on the description box while you watch this after this process i would be showing you how i prepared the bowl and again, if you're interested in knowing the total length of the max that was used for this uh, particular tutorials, I used one and a half yards of the max. But uh, to be on the safer side, if you are buying, buy two yards. That's because you might not be able to be uh, economical with the fabric the way I did so by two years it will be okay
so right now i have about four different bow so i would be using three at the back and then the longest of it is the one i will use for the covering of the front so to make the bow stand properly you can see from what i have showed you i added crillone to the fabric and just fold the edges and sew it so i did not necessarily have to fold the fabric into two i just used a bit of the fabric to like aim the edges of the crillone so that it won't fall off and then it will also help the fabric to stand so that's what i did and then i prepared about uh four bows i would be using three for the back and then i would use one to do the final crossing and closure of the middle that is all the part where i did the rough work so to create the bow you can see what i did i just simply use uh, loose stitches and then pull it together and then I tied so from there I was able to get out the uh, style of bow that I wanted so quickly I'll just put the three together systematically or stylishly like this and then I would be using the needle and thread to hold it to place after doing that I would be fixing it to the um uh to the cap or to the uh auto gilly i would be fixing it to the cap uh -huh. depending on the position i want but the position i used for this particular one is called the eye uh corner eye so it's not like it did not really go down so much it's not too far from the middle yeah that was the style so all I did was to just use uh, my needle and thread to tack it to the uh, auto gilly. And then I used the final bow, which is the fourth bow, to cover all the rough work. Anyway, for this particular tutorial, I did not add embellishment to this um, gilly. I just felt it's already busy. And I don't really need to do much of embellishing. Okay. So this is it. I hope it's very easy. And I also believe that you can replicate this. So if you do your own and you wish to send me the picture of what you've done, my number will be on the screen shortly. You can use the WhatsApp number to reach me okay and secondly if today is your first time stopping by my channel yeah i just want to say welcome to you thank you very much for choosing creative ends international so one last thing please do not forget to subscribe to this channel before leaving today and also do not forget to hit on that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Make it a date with me. The tutorials promises to get better. So join my community and become a part of Creative Ends International. Okay, so for me, it's bye for now. I'll see you in my next video. And please do not forget to drop your comment on the comment section. And also, if you have questions concerning these tutorials, do ask just drop the comment i'll respond to you okay so for now it's bye from my end bye
so for this particular tutorial the last thing you would need to do is to fix the handle so you cut off the excess from the back and then attach the handle to tie behind it and that would just be all the link i would be dropping on the description box we also have how to fix the handle so bye